I found something interesting. At the NASA site, Solar System Exploration, on Mars, there's an Endeavor crater. Here's the address. I'll post that on the description. The Endeavor crater is best found by finding the Schiaparelli crater first and then looking to the west. The Endeavor crater is located here on Mars. So you click on this crater, it opens up, and what we're looking for is on this upper right rim here. There's a crater here, a crater there. Keep following that line, you see another crater here. And the one we're looking for is this one on the top up here. Click on that, expand it. That's the one we're looking for. So here you can see not much. So now if I hold down the control button and I scroll up, it will go up to 500%. So I'll take my bottom scroll bar, move it over to the right, and right there, that's what I'm looking for, pull that down a little bit, and I've centered it. That is what I'm looking at. That looks a little strange. Right now we have it as maximize as possible. So what I've done is I captured this with Snagit and then what I have when I blew it up was this. So then my question is how big is this? So what I did is I went to the main site and I captured this five kilometers and then I went up to the crater and captured it at 300 percent or 500 percent both of them at the same percentage and then I got this. So now I can compare this. So what I did is I went and took and drew a box that was the same size as this. So this box here is the same size as five kilometers and it is 1281 pixels. So I know that five kilometers equals 1281 pixels. So now when I go and look at this here, I can drag my box over and I can measure how big is that crater. Well, knowing that it's 128 pixels wide, take my calculator and go 128 times 5,000 divided by 1281 will give me the meters. And that is 599.6, so 500 meters wide. So I times that by 3.3 because there's 3.3 feet in a meter and that gives me 1,649 feet wide. So, if I'm not mistaken, that's a third of a mile. So it's pretty big. So now my question is, I think I see one, two, three towers. So I'm going to blow those up a little bit more, and I'm going to take my little box, and I'm going to say, how big are these towers? One. three towers. Now they're close to being all the same size. One. They all look similar size. Because at first I thought this was an actual fork, but I can see that this one here is just a little bit further back. This is a little bit closer. And so we're looking at the building kind of on a tilt here. This here is a tower that's in front. This is one on the back. So these are all the same size. 2 by 11. 2 by 11, I figured, is 26 feet by 141 feet tall, each one of these. And this one here is somewhere in this range, 
two by 17, which makes it 26 feet wide by 218 feet tall and similar. The thing that's interesting about this back one is it's got these little pieces here that come out, which I find interesting. And then also another thing you see is down here, there's some kind of an entranceway, a building. I don't know what that is, but there's something there. So this whole building is kind of like an L shape. I see right here looks like a wall. Some shadowing there. Really dark shadowing here. The light's coming from this direction here, to the left. And then the other thing that's interesting is this building here. Let's blow this up a little bit more. And it is something like five by nine, and this front piece is like three by three. If that's the size of it, that would make this building 8,804 square feet. However, it looks like to me, it's something like three pixels tall, which makes it 38, 39 feet tall. Divide that by three, there's something like three stories, 12 foot tall stories. So, this is just some rough measurements is all I can do, but that's what I've come up with. And to me, it doesn't look like a natural phenomenon. And if you look at it right here, it looks like there's almost an entranceway. You can see how this ridge is broken. Like there might be an entranceway. And you look over here, it looks like there's extra traffic on the whole thing. Whereas when you look at the whole outer piece, it's all uniform. But over here, it looks like there's lots of possible traffic coming into this and I don't know what this is over here on the right but to me it looks like a building on top of the mound right here you see the mound there's a shadowing here this is a mound because you have your crater and you have normal splash back that they do they leave this high-rise area up in the middle but it looks like they built on top of that and that's what I'm seeing am I wrong